Aluminum is one of the main pollutants in our lifestyles that causes many health problems. They spray it in the air with the water vapor from airplanes. It's contained in various hygiene products such as deodorant. Aluminum and deodorant is akin to fluoride and toothpaste. And worst of all, people cook just about everything in aluminum baking tins, wrap everything in aluminum foil. The only thing you should be using this crap for is wrapping your head to protect you from radiation, maybe even throwing a few sheets around your router. Aluminum is present in many products beyond deodorant and baking tins. It's present in our food and water, especially frozen foods, baking powder, processed cheese, baby formula, they put it in baby formula, cosmetics, other cooking tools, prescription medications like antacids, even in fresh fruits and vegetables which have been grown in aluminum contaminated soil and that goes for aluminum in the water table as well. That's why it ends up in the drinking water. I haven't used aluminum deodorant for years, nor have I cooked with aluminum, and the aluminum levels in my body are nearly zero. What's crazy is I slept in an aluminum mesh Faraday cage for a few months. I literally encased myself in aluminum, uh, which didn't seem to matter. It has to be ingested or absorbed transdermally, and this can be measured with a hair mineral analysis which will also test for toxic levels of other environmental pollutants. One thing we certainly can't discount is the presence of high amounts of aluminum and other toxic metals in those needles they want to inject into us for our safety. That's part of the reason government bodies say that exposure to aluminum is okay. What I can't stand is these evil people write these articles lying to your faces. Exposure to aluminum is usually not harmful, but exposure to high levels can cause serious health problems. If you think you've been exposed to high levels of aluminum, contact your doctor. You could argue that even enough water is toxic, but water is necessary for our bodies. Is aluminum a necessary component for our health? No, it's not. Just like mercury isn't. So why are they saying that low doses of an unnecessary poison are okay, but larger amounts can cause health problems? It's all a matter of keeping people sick, but not dropping dead on the street. Aluminum has no known function in the human body, despite being abundant in nature. Aluminum is a neurotoxin and has been linked to a spectrum of neurological diseases such as Alzheimer's, ALS, and autism spectrum disorders. A now abundant literature shows that exposure of humans and animals to aluminum from various sources can have deleterious consequences on the developing and adult nervous system. Let me get this straight. You're worried about the effects of aluminum on adults. It's maddening that babies are injected with aluminum upon being born and their formula, their nutrition contains aluminum. It's no secret that we are being poisoned by the authority we have entrusted with our health. The most discouraging part is how stupid and uneducated many are about what should be put in our bodies. The scariest part about aluminum is that it is a slow poisoning that combined with other things that are being done to us makes us crumble away without realizing what is happening to our health. When being unhealthy and going to the doctor on a monthly basis is the norm, it's hard to get back to what's right. Even the behavior of babies with aluminum poisoning, being less coordinated, less active, isn't viewed as abnormal. So it's never identified by the parent. And that's for the lucky ones who weren't permanently maimed or killed by the ones in charge that know what's best for us. All these poor children with autism and much, much worse. What is the risk of aluminum as a neurotoxin? Aluminum is neurotoxic. Its free ion, AI3+, is highly biologically reactive and uniquely equipped to do damage to essential cellular biochemistry. This unequivocal fact must be the starting point in examining the risk posed by aluminum as a neurotoxin in humans. Aluminum is present in the human brain and it accumulates with age. The most recent research demonstrates that a significant proportion of individuals older than 70 years of age have a potentially pathological accumulation of aluminum somewhere in their brain. We were successful in lowering the body burden of aluminum in individuals with moderate to severe Alzheimer's disease and concomitantly, we were able to demonstrate clinically significant improvements in cognitive performance in some individuals. While the potential of aluminum for promoting neurodegenerative disease remains controversial, the following statements, which form the headings of the sum of the above discussion, are indisputable. Aluminum is environmentally prevalent and ingested by humans. 
Acute exposure to aluminum can cause clinical neurotoxicity. Elevated levels of intrinsic inflammation are associated with neural aging, and this is exacerbated in several neurodegenerative diseases. Low levels of aluminum in drinking water of experimental animals elevate basal levels of inflammatory activity within the central nervous system. And if you guys wanna buy my sweaty aluminum foil on eBay. Uh, so we know aluminum is bad. We know what foods to avoid. Let's go over how it can enter and leave your body. A very small amount of aluminum that you breathe will enter through your lungs, but as I said, I slept in aluminum mesh for three months and that didn't really matter. Ingesting aluminum in food or water will enter your body through the digestive tract as well as whatever is found in prescription medications. Aluminum can also be absorbed through the skin from cosmetics and deodorant. Thankfully, most aluminum leaves the body quickly in the feces and whatever enters the bloodstream can be removed in the urine, but we can assume chronically high consumption of aluminum and other lifestyle stressors impairs detox pathways, which can result in the accumulation of aluminum. So if we remove aluminum and optimize the lifestyle, we can fix one of many modern health problems. So thank you guys for joining me today. Hopefully this gives you more of an understanding and a focus to remove aluminum from your lifestyle if you have not done so already. If you guys would like to support me, you know how to do so down in the description below. And of course, if you could please share this video with your friends on various social media, you know, drop a like, leave a comment below, you know, spread this as much as possible because you know, it's one of the many ways we're being poisoned, but it's also one of the primary ways. Uh, so thanks again for joining me today, guys. I'll see you for tomorrow's video.